Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and I'm here with Tom Whalen, an artist who has an exclusive here at Philly Comic Con. We'd like to talk to him about it. It's a, it's a Voltron screen print. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you. you. Know, just how much of a Voltron fan are you? Uh, Voltron was one of the pillars of my uh, childhood viewing, along with Transformers and He-Man and G.I. Joe. It's definitely up there. Okay. So when you found out that you were going to get the opportunity to do a Voltron print, did that, like, blow your geek mind? Yeah, I am um, continually uh, blown away that I get to be a part of, um, as, in a small way, these properties that really shaped a lot of what I'm doing today. When you're doing something like this, how much research do you do on the product before you decide how you're going to present it? Well, the probably the most fun part about the whole thing is actually having to go back and research, watch the old episodes, um, buy the DVDs, sit down with my kid and um, just jump back into what I loved as a kid. So that's, I love it. That's right. the best part. So, so how long is that process before you actually get it down on, on something that this is the design I'm going to do? Uh, that I'll probably, I actually work on, when I'm working on another job, I will, like, I'll pop the Voltron DVD in and I'll kind of watch it in the background as I'm working on another job. So I'm kind of trying to multitask. Right. Um, I watched the entire first season before I did this poster, uh, did some screen grabs and then when I was ready to start, I pretty much had my idea together. So by the time I actually sit down and start to draft it out, I have a good idea what's going on in my head. Okay, so you knew you wanted the Lions, you knew you wanted the Five Pilots, and you knew you wanted all of Voltron, right? Right. It, okay. There's a lot going on with Voltron. You know, you need the Lions, the robot, the full robot if possible, which I worked into the type treatment. But uh, it, was, it was a challenge getting everything in there. Now, how about the color scheme? Uh, it's funny because with... Something like the Transformers that I did for Acid Free, uh, I took some liberties with uh, color scheme. I did a little bit more retro colors. Um, Voltron is pretty, you got to stick pretty close to, you know, if, if it veers off too much, it's not going to look right. So right. There, right. there was a framework there. Now, did you have to talk to any of the people who, who made Voltron to find out uh, what they were interested in? Now, typically, uh, I will design a poster. Um, I, I, I try to stay pretty faithful. I, I, I kind of have a feel for where I can take liberties or where I can veer off a uh, model. But typically, a poster will get designed, and then it'll get submitted for approval. And at that point is when changes or um, creative input from, you know, from on the corporate side would be made. Did you have to make changes on this one? No, it was um, it was. Good to go. Slam dunk. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've done some other work for Acid Free Gallery before as well, right? Yes, I did uh, Transformers for them, and I have some other stuff in the pipeline, so that I'm not at liberty to say right now. Okay. All right, but it's exciting, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, more research and more fun doing that, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> I noticed you did a signing earlier for the Voltron print. Yeah, I did a signing, which was really cool. Um, uh, typically, I'll just, uh, I'm at my table, and it's really cool to actually meet a lot of people that I, I know a lot of people online through, uh, d through my work. Um, it's funny to actually walk, somebody to walk up and tell you who they are and actually make a connection to a flesh and blood person instead of, right. you know, an icon or an, an avatar. Right. So what kind of discussions have you had about some of the pieces that you've had? Uh, generally, people are really excited if there's something in that book that they missed out on online or, you know, they didn't know they could contact me to get prints. Uh, there, there was a girl who, who was really excited to get a print that she was chasing after. So which one was it? Uh, it was a uh, Delta City print that I had done for a gallery show oh. last year. And um, I had one left in the book and she was she was excited. Okay, because I. I would be happy to talk to you hours on end about your Merry Melody stuff, you know, the Looney Tunes stuff, or the Voltron, or the Transformers, or any of those. Right. But what I really want to know is, is how did you develop this, this retro style that you have? It's funny. I started coming to uh, a Wizard Philly, I think, maybe seven or eight years ago. And I just had um, a friend and I were uh, creating a mini comic book uh, that we got a table to exhibit. And I, as on a whim, a few days before the show, had a few small prints of superheroes that I was working on. And they, they took off 
like from from that first show, and that it's kind of just evolved from there. And I think, uh, as far as where the style came from, I just have a, a an affinity for retro animation and uh, retro design, and I kind of try to mix um, my design with with my influences, and that's right. what comes out of the blender. So what were some of your influences growing up in animation? Uh, well, definitely Transformers, G.I. Joe, Voltron, like I mentioned. Uh, D Chuck Jones' uh, animation was huge. Even though I didn't know him by name when I was a kid, I was just drawn to, you know, his style. Um, all the classics, like the Rankin-Bass um, stop-motion stuff. So all those Christmas specials back then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, still. Uh, still, yeah. Now those would be perfect for you in that in that retro style. I know I'd love to love to have a chance to do them. Uh, any chance you could talk to Mr. Rankin or <laughs> you know are they still? Sure. sure. If they're out there. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 game. All right. Yeah. We want to thank you for joining us here with Toon Barn. Sure. And good luck with all your prints. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be uh, interviewed. And thanks for stopping by. No problem. Thank you.